Hello guys. Today I'm going to be demonstrating on how to download VirtualBox, Virtual Machine, in 2021. So first things first, you're going to go into the description of this video and you're going to look for two links that I've put down. And now once you go to the VirtualBox link, you're going to go right here to where it says Windows Hosts. And this is going to be a win Windows Guide, so yeah. You're going to do that and this is going to download. Now you're going to go here. I'm gonna go down here and download tool now. Alright, now once both those are downloaded, I'm gonna go right here. And get your Windows 10 set up. And now you're gonna go ahead and do both of these. I've already done these, so I'm not Alright, so once you downloaded your Windows ISO file and you downloaded your Oracle Virtual Machine Virtual Box. You're gonna locate your Windows ISO file. I found mine in my documents. You might also be able to find it in your downloads and some other places too, but it'll mostly be, most likely be in one of those. Now, you're gonna locate your virtual machine, virtual box, and you're gonna go to here. You're gonna go over where it says new. You're gonna go in here and you're gonna type in Windows 10. Now that's gonna go ahead and automatically select the version and the type. And if it doesn't, you can always select it. Now, this is the memory, other known as your RAM. And you can allocate as much as you want to this, but just probably wouldn't put it at over half of your RAM that you have. I have 16 gigabytes, so I'm going to do 7. Well, you can also, you probably only need 4, 5, or 6, though. And that's at most, so... And then, if you have a, if you don't have a virtual hard disk, you could click this, and you could actually use one of your hard disks, or you could create a virtual one, or you can use an exist existing virtual one. Although, if you're if you already have one, you probably wouldn't be watching this video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a new one right here. Now I'm going to do virtual hard disk and virtual machine disk and virtual disk image. Those are both different, and if you need to use those, you can go to next and dynamically allocated that makes storage as you use storage on your virtual machine and it's it's stored on your actual hard disk but it's safe obviously or you can do your fixed size and you can it's a one-time selection thing I think you can change it later but yeah I'm gonna do dynamically allocated and for this I'm just gonna do we well, can keep it at 50 because it's not using it so now you're gonna go ahead and create it. Now you can go in here, go into your settings. You can go to, you can change any of this if you need to. I usually put this on bi-directional. And on basic, you don't need to change this unless you did it wrong in the first place. Description, you don't need to do anything here. Disk encryption, if you wanna encrypt your disk. And system, you can change your memory here. And this is gonna be the boot order. So I'm going to put my hard disk as first and optical disk as second, although I don't use an optical disk, I just use my hard disk. You can still put this even though it's not going to use it because I don't have one. So yeah, you can also select these, but you don't have to. And these are the extended features right here. And then for processor, this is going to make it run faster. I have eight cores on my CPU, so I'm going to do three cores here. It's your execution cap, so it doesn't go over and it doesn't um, flood your CPU. Now this is enable nested packaging for acceleration. And, yep. and now this is the, the, the display. You can change your video memory here, your monitor count, and 3D acceleration. You don't have to do any of these, but you can. All right, so this is where your this is where your ISO file for Windows comes in, into play. So you're gonna click right here where it says empty, and you're gonna click right here on this little disk drive. You're gonna go to create a file file or optical disk drive. You're gonna click your Windows ISO file, and if you can't find it, you can click here, and it'll open up this. And you just select this and then open. But since mine already found it just by its own, which yours might also do or might not do. You can do that you can push choose and now that part's done so storage you don't need to mess with this anymore now your audio you can change that if you need to or you can leave it as this 
as it is. This is just your network, and this is your serial ports, your USB, shared folders. This is if you want to make a new folder here that your virtual machine would also share with your actual computer hard drive, your host. And but I I, I don't do this. And you can also change your user interface, which is just going to change how it looks whenever you're actually in the virtual machine. So now you want to go ahead and just press OK. Now let's go ahead and press Start. All right. So now. Uh, that should open up your Windows 10 virtual box and here this is your startup disk you want you're gonna want to pick your ISO file that you used right you're gonna press start and there you go now this is gonna load up it should display a Windows screen in a few seconds there there it is Alright, and now once this loads up, you're going to want to go to the next, and now you're going to want to go to install now. You don't need it to do repair your computer, that's just for shutting it down if you need to. Now, this happens right here, you activate Windows, and you can go ahead and say you don't have a product key, and you can set any of these, I usually just do Windows 10 Home, and you go to next accept the license terms as long as you accept them obviously now you can go here and you can install windows only which is what I do and then you can go to next and now it's gonna go ahead and install windows on your ISO file and in this hard drive or virtual hard drive and I'll be right back when this is done alright it just now got done downloading Hi Cortana. there, I'm Cortana. Bye-bye.